We like to joke that Donald Trump has accomplished very little since taking office. But for many living here in the U.S., the impact of Trump's policies is all too real, and it's no laughing matter. In the first 100 days since Donald signed his executive order on immigration enforcement, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement arrests surged. Despite Trump's claim that ICE would prioritize criminal arrests, more than 25% of these arrests were of non-criminals. But the folks being targeted by ICE are not just statistics. They are real people, real families living here in the United States, many of whom were brought over as children and have never known other homes. ICE arrested 19-year-old Diego Ismael Puma Macancela on the morning of his prom and just days before he was to graduate from high school. Donald Trump's recent announcement that dreamers would be safe from deportation for now may provide relief for some, but for so many immigrants living in the U.S., this means living in constant fear. Which is why trust in law enforcement among immigrant communities has plummeted. This leads to many problems. For example, there has been a steep drop in reports of sexual assaults and other crimes. Advocates fear it will cause more women to stay in abusive relationships rather than risk arrest. For a president who claims to be tough on crime, Donald Trump's policy is targeting non-criminals like never before and hampering law enforcement's ability to do its job. No matter where you stand on the immigration question, where do you stand on the human one?